The Euro-NATO Joint Jet Pilot Training Program, located at Shepard Air Force Base in Wichita Falls, Texas, is unique in that it is the only internationally manned military flight school in the world. Experience NJEP documents the program through the eyes of its students. At the very beginning of training, we take brand new students and teach them that coalition operations are not only expected but are inherent in what we do uh, in warfare. Kosovo, Afghanistan, Libya. Coalitions are how we fight today and that makes the unique nature of NGIP more important than ever. We take students from each of these countries and match them to instructors from different countries where we all use English as the common language and we learn how to work together and we have a common understanding of military uh, operations. The 25 students in class 1407 who come from the United States, Italy, Denmark, and the Netherlands will face a variety of professional and personal challenges during the 55 weeks of rigorous training needed to learn to fly the T-6 Texan II and the T-38C Talon. For the students of class 1407, their interest in an aviation career is as varied as the countries they come from. My name is uh, Giulia, I'm second lieutenant, um, I come from Italy, uh, my town is uh, Perugia in the center of Italy. I live near a, a um, hospital and was very, and very often many helicopters landed near my house, so I, I get interested in, in the world of airplanes and aeronautics. So. Uh, my name is Lieutenant Wade Tolliver, Jr. I'm from Kissimmee, Florida. Went to the University of Florida, so go Gators. Uh, I grew up a military brat. My uh, dad's a pilot, so I kind of just following in dad's footsteps. And uh, I love military life. I got to move around as a little kid. Lived in a bunch of different countries. I think I moved around about 14 times. I fell on uh, flying because of the individuality, the, the impact one person can have on the battlefield, as well as just I mean, how the fact that you're flying. The first part of training involves aerospace physiology basic flight academics, and simulator time to get comfortable in the aircraft. As students get into the routine of inject, the possibility of failure seems to be their biggest fear. Because um, the feeling is amazing at that moment that they decided to pick you to that training. But um, you always know that there can be some things happening in the, in the training that will get in the, on the way to get a fighter pilot. We talk a lot about uh, not letting ourselves down. I guess that's mine, my main motivation. I don't want to let myself down. Um, I've worked a lot to get here, and I really want to succeed. I mean, no one likes to fail, so, and, and here in an environment like this where it's very stressful and long hours, it's, it's almost inevitable. You're, you're going to fail at something. You know, no one's perfect, but uh, also use that as motivation, so. To be better going to bed than you were when you woke up that morning. Like that cliche, too? Yeah. That's good. <laughs> When they first get here, it, they're always nervous no matter how calm they seem. And so now we, we're at a point now where we can see the beginnings of their personalities, their natural, uh, their natural selves coming out. On the next episode of Experience NJEP, students discover the true meaning of joint operations as they learn to fly. What are you most nervous about the, being here in Of uh, the ejection handle. Because you sit in the aircraft and the, the uh, harness is like right there and it's just a little loop and the, uh, the harness straps like actually go kind of under it, underneath it. And so as you're sitting there, you're just kind of like, oh man, it could go off at any time. Feels like sometimes, but.